Hey guys, Nadine here. So, how have you all been? I hope um, you got to eat some nice chocolate with Easter, at least. And um, that you made extra time to go inwards, to meditate more, and to find out what is really important in life. What, what is your, your basic need? What is it that you say, this is something I really, really can't live without? Uh, the things that bring you joy. Um, and then I hope you focused on the things that brought you joy. I was tuning in earlier. With, I had just, uh, I just got together with my uh, people from the online spiritual training program where we train our spiritual muscle. And we have these high vibe sessions and everybody's really great because we've been training for this for more than a year. <laughs> <laughs> um, for this with I mean when you have a spiritual muscle that is strained when you you connect to the things that a physical eye might not be able to see but that you just know they they exist for you the the woo woo is not crazy it's the new normal we 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 are all clairvoyant when we're babies and we're being born and then we forget about it and and we go like what 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 if i can't see it if i haven't uh, read it in a book it's not true you know we, we got this this whole mind of us that that kinks off that connection to source energy the connection to oneness oh yeah or oh, oh, winter i stopped shaving my arms get over it <laughs> um and there were lots of things i actually i think i prefer but I don't like I stopped going to um putting in foils two years ago as well because I thought I'm just gonna go natural. My hair's natural color. This is a color of my hair when I don't go I had haircuts. I had in the last wait like, last three years I had four, maybe five haircuts, and that's it. So I would say it's like a natural state of hair. And because I like wearing a crunchy when I go for walks, it's getting curly. And I stopped using anything chemical as well. So it's different. And I think this is what's happening for us right now. And, and, and the people we do the training, we, we were talking about how wonderful life can be if if woo woo would be the new normal and we would all go and have like amazing lives with all our essential needs fulfilled in a beautiful easy way we have the resources it can happen and 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 we would go back to buying things locally you know not sending stuff all around the planet when it's not necessary um and and be there to support our local communities the families it, it it would just be all so different everything sustainable um even like clothes that we would be wearing actually this is something bamboo pretty sure i bought this at the markets here in in yandina um i'm not sure where it's produced here but whenever i see something like in clothing as well that there's no fashion to it um it's just something you know that you know will always be nice to have and it sits beautiful and the bamboo is soft on my skin and then i have another one that i can do over it if it gets colder and we we have been a bit derailed as a society for more 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 instead of going for better for everybody involved and and i think this there's a, such an amazing possibility for great things that can happen now if we can just focus not on the screen because the screen is the screen you know but focus on the projector go and say okay what is it right now? What is my intention? What can I create? How can I, wherever your intention, where your attention and intention goes, that's what will happen on the screen. That is how we project. Remember how I 
I moved to the other side of the world to realize this is still the same bloody life because wherever you go, boom, there you are. So try to, to create from, from the connection to your higher self that you bring into your body. And, and I'm gonna start a course and it's gonna be a two week challenge and it's gonna be like, you know, what is the boss saying? what is really the boss saying how to to go in full alignment with when i say the boss it i mean your highest self and i mean source energy you know that really the things that that come into you and connect to that because this is where you will find your what you need to feel safe to feel really the certainty i i know what uncertainty is i live with it and I know the only way to deal with this is what is the boss saying and listen to that. Do not listen to any fear, to the lower energies. You can look at it. I do the same. I look at it. Oh, that's an interesting theory that might be happening. Whoa, that would be also a possibility. There are possibilities. The news that we've been fed, it's not the truth. None of it is, in my opinion what is really happening is something that will be revealed eventually. I don't think we really know what's happening. None of us. We all feel like we are getting kind of like pressures put on us so that we can grow. Like, you know, um, good wine comes from crushed grapes. Actually, a, a diamond is, is a crushed... Um, what is it um kind of like a stone um how would you call it again that you used to heat houses with coal it's a piece of coal that had a lot of pressure and then boom it's a diamond mm, wow i must say i used to be way more attached to these things and and i still i love beautiful things but i more and more am convinced i want it to be sustainable and I must say, I have expensive handbags, but the main reason is I don't like to go shopping uh, for handbags, you know, and the ones that I have, that mulberry one, I've had it now probably for 20 years. Um, one handle starts to rip a bit, but I could just bring that and it can be fixed and it's a good handbag, everything in it, or like I have probably a Louis Vuitton as well, but they last me forever. Um, and it doesn't have to be that brand. I would be more than happy, even if it would be something locally made by an artist with the right feeling, and it would be practical, it can be put in everything. I'm happy with that lifestyle. We have been brainwashed by so many things and thinking, no, we need this, we need that. But what if, if we start putting our intent and our focus on what a beautiful world we want and then create from there and just go like yeah everybody's making a lot of noise i i'm not going to go in the polarity i'm not going to go all the way there or all the way there and and see these people fighting fighting because they're frustrated nothing comes out of that the things to create is is to really know that the universe has our back. We are being supported. We, we are going to thrive. And the whole world can shift in this new paradigm, this amazing, amazing paradigm. The world can shift into that. I'm telling you, the world can shift into that. And when it does, when it shifts into that, it's going to be like, whoa. And that's what you want to concentrate on. What is whoa for you? And, and start feeling it, start smelling it. Work with everything in your vibrational level. Um, and I, I want you to, to journal about it as well and write down, okay, I would imagine how your day would be. You know, you would wake up and, and there would be no stress ever. Like, no unnecessary stress not like sitting for hours in traffic and then 
I remember when I ha no longer had to travel all the time, not a fly in the airports and, and traffic. How many hours in my life have, have I sat in heavy traffic to go to corporate jobs where you make a lot of money, but then spend a lot of money because all you, all you have is expensive gear and you need to keep up with it, you know? And for what? For who? And were you really, what you were doing, was that, was that good for the whole planet and for everybody involved? Or was it all, all a bit going pear-shaped? Just to say, what, what would be nicer? And that's what I started doing. I wake up this morning, I woke up at four o'clock. The energies were quite strong. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna meditate a bit longer then. So I meditate for about an hour, did some light yoga, walked the dogs, had a lemon juice, then got together with my, my tribe there. They're, they're amazing. I really love those people that are in my training program. And um, now I'm making this video. <laughs> And then I might eat a bite, you know, I'm not even hungry. It's what, 11 o'clock almost. But I'm fine. It's, it's just that we think we need all these things, but we can be so happy and just to do the things we want. I could go now and maybe sit outside a bit in the pool or, or be with my horses. But at the same time, I am putting pressure on myself, but I'm doing it myself to show up for you. And what's the boss saying? I don't know whether that'll be the final, um, the final thing that I will call it. What's the boss saying? I kind of like it. What's the boss saying? And then go from there. Um, so if you're interested in that, yeah, you can already sent me a quick message but i will send automatically you'll, you'll get an email if you're on my email list and i'll make some more videos about it as well it's more important than ever that you feel peace that you feel hope optimism i i just want you to feel amazing okay <laughs> sending you lots and lots of love wherever you are in the world and bye for now. See you next week.